Hi everyone, today I want to share some ideas for improving the ankle mobility. It can be quite an issue in Olympic weightlifting or for anyone trying to do a proper deep squat. Uh, if the range of motion in ankle joint is limited, often you can see people doing snatches and ending up in this position or doing squats and rounding the back or getting the butt wing and not being able to actually go down. Very easy thing to see is also uh, the compensation that happens on the way and that is often turning the feet way too much to the side so people would do something like this. Um, so today I want to share a few ideas uh, how to improve that so that the squat can be nice, deep and comfortable so that the arms can go over. Now first we should test to see what is our ankle mobility like. So I recommend to have a wall in front of you or some object like this and put your foot in front, have a really good contact with the whole foot sole and try to reach that object with your knee. And then I want you to measure the distance from that object to your toe. So go as far as you can, having the full contact with the ground and try to measure so that you get a clear picture of how much your knee can travel forward. I recommend to get, or it would be great to get something like this as long as your arms or hands are proportional to your body. So you can measure if you can place this between that object and your toe. If you can't and you're somewhere like here or something around that three to four fingers, it might not be enough in Olympic weightlifting because if you like the ankle mobility and your knees can travel nicely forward and sideways, you probably can't go either uh, forward with your hips. And that means for snatch, for example, ending up somewhere here and then compensating with butt wing or with the shoulder joint. So uh, ankle mobility is quite important to, to other parts of the body as well. So if you have tested, then I recommend the ways to improve it. I recommend to have something like this. Simple device, I just made it with some wood leftovers. And to, to have this, how to use it, you just stand in it and try to test if you can actually be straight. Some people already struggle with this. It has probably like 30 degrees inclination. So the person that is really stiff will do something like this. Move the hip already backward because it will be too intense. But if this is no problem for you, then I want you to bend the knee because that's actually what makes the difference for improving the ankle mobility for squat. And that is because there are two main muscles on your, on your leg and the one on top, kind of visible two heads called gastrocnemius it's not the main player. The main player is lying under called soleus. It's attached from the heel and it's finished before the knee joint. So actually it controls only the ankle, ankle movement uh, we need in the deep squat. If you don't have this equipment, you can use wall and just place your foot against the wall, something like this, kind of the same inclination and then try to get forward with your knee to touch the wall very simple and this already is very nice exercise to work with as a warm-up routine or improving the the range however not for everyone this will be the the way to work because uh, there are few reasons that can stop people from having nice uh, nice range and one of them is being the skin so i recommend to test uh, how how well can you grip the skin and especially on the back area here, you can find out that it's really difficult to get anything for a girl especially, I don't know why, it's really painful and it's kind of swollen appearance and instead of grabbing the skin, you kind of grab way more and, and it's impossible to just get a nice pinch. What does it mean? Um, it's something called skin or fascia adhesion, so the skin basically can't glide or move on top of the other soft tissues lying under so in between each other it doesn't move that well as it could and that's why in deep squat it just might stop the movement for, from getting even deeper so if we can open that uh, uh, that relationship between them you can get better gliding and the knees might travel better forward uh, now if you have no equipment just use your arms grab that area here the first half of your calf grab it and rotate it as much as you can and once you stop or hit the barrier just add a little bit more this way it's a very easy way but can improve uh, 
that tightness in between skin and fascia. You can also try the opposite direction. So first go as much as you can till you stop and then add a little bit slack in it. If you have some equipment like floss band, perfect, then you can use it, wrap it around your calf and do the movements you actually struggle with. In our case it's the squat. So if I wrap it around very quickly in the first half of my calf, I also recommend to work for example on the whole foot so you would wrap it around including the heel and maybe end up here and work first part with your foot and then second part with your calf. Really nice combination to release that tension in the, in the skin. So you have that plus band on and if you have this, this tool you can use already that one just to step in and do this approximately for half a minute, one minute or you can go to squat of course and test different angles and improve it that way or you can go to this and work with the ankle in and out maybe this would be nicer if you have that force band around your foot so that's using the force band but there are some contraindications like people having this varicose veins so there is not recommended really to to do compression and using the force band so be careful about this uh, other ways to improve the ankle mobility is using of course the foam roller so if these muscles here are really extremely tight then rolling here could help as well to release that tension and improve the ankle mobility so this is I hope just repetition because this should be really uh, well known uh, if we said that the soleus is the one that usually makes the trouble uh, then you should roll especially the first half of your calf because that's where the muscle is easily accessible so you could start with one leg test how it feels supporting yourself with foot and arms and if it's okay you can put more load again lifting myself rolling and give it like approximately one minute and then change to the other side but what I like to use as well is uh, external load putting on your knee in, in a squat position so a friend of mine Eivind Skalkstad from Norway gave me this idea so I like to give credit back where once he struggled so much with ankle mobility and figured out that putting a lot of weight on his knee helped him so much to improve it immediately so but not 10 kilos you can experiment go really high I think in his case it was 70 kilos so three three red plates which is pretty high so you can imagine how much the um, Achilles tendon and the soft tissue surrounding the ankle how strong it is there all around so it also requires some some uh, heavy loading or progressive loading but it's good to test starting with something lower and see how it develops so again bent knee for targeting the muscles that are actually responsible for this which is the soleus lying quite deeper so um, it's no problem to combine different techniques so you could also have this floss band on and putting the load at the same time why not it can improve nicely there's also or all there are also people that actually struggle with the uh, joint capsule itself in the ankle joint and for those people I would recommend to try uh, to work with uh, rubber that is connected somewhere behind putting it on the front side of your ankle a little bit higher so that you could bend here comfortably and really try to use this that's a really good uh, combination where you would again shoot the knee forward and try to see the difference because because of the rubber pulling your tibia backward it can create more space on the front side so that feeling of bone to bone um, crushing would uh, could improve really nicely and it could make also a big change for the lifting so try to do this again bending forward bending sideways uh, for those who have this feeling of oh I can't go forward because here it really stops me like a bone to bone feeling and did I forget something well it's important to always consider what you do during the day if you're sitting or standing all day there will be some load uh, affecting your calf muscles and especially your feet which is a very important area for the whole body so you must have seen lacrosse ball or some kind of stick where you can give some release also to your feet rolling it approximately for one minute or using a stick for improvising and as you can see when I was using the stativ here I already bended my toes which includes a bit more 
all the uh, area on, of your foot sole uh, comparing to standing here. So actually I would recommend to do this maybe even more than, the, than using the apparat or combining both. Um, just one tip for a like, movement approach to improve your ankle mobility would be to sit in this, bend your toes and try to bump into that position being either on four like this or being here. This will be very important also for, uh, for your knees to warm them up, but this I will talk about in the next video. So today ankle mobility issue, it's not so complicated. Try different variations, different approaches using the, um, this tool, foam roller, ball, external load or floss band and it should improve. So try to measure, let me know how did you score, how was the distance there.